June and July in the Northern Plains can be fruitful yet frustrating. June 24th had some wicked parameters, but ended up being a blue sky bust. That happens sometimes. The cap won. There's an occasional pop-up backyard supercell that you just might have to go look at with your kid. Patterns change. Frustrations build. You get more aggressive. They say you should never get in the bear's cage, but, well, sometimes the only way to see the wizard is to peek behind that curtain. So here we go again to walk amongst the giants. <laughs> Southwest Nebraska. I've been out here before. Far different setup, but the terrain was familiar. That's the road that goes with the cook. I can't have a hard time believing that that's it. I feel like there's gonna be something that comes up here. You know, like in the southern, like right south of us. We're starting to get his act together now. really organized against Benzo on the southern periphery of I'm surprised they're in severe war, but you can see the that boundary is wrapped right up into it. Absolutely incredible structure. Oh my god. Here comes the blue moose. That's insane.
structure's getting better. Oh my god. I mean, look at that. All the way up. It's really rotating right there. You see that? Like it's coming around. Be careful, there. be careful. I got
of us, right? Yeah, we're good. We just need to stop. Oh my god. This was a bad idea. Go south and then go east at. I mean, there's country roads, but the, our main road, 31B, is Hidrit down that way. Should we do that? Can you go east? How many miles? Look, we have to go south. This is where we're at. We can go down to Hidrit and go over and then go back up. We'll be in line with the, the wall cloud here. I mean, I gotta be honest, this is getting, well, I'm tired. This thing I've loved for so long just doesn't, it just doesn't hit like it used to. And honestly, that scares me. It scares me in one way because I feel like I'm slowly losing the passion for something that I've held dear to my heart for the better part of 20 years. Or really my entire life. It also scares me because sometimes I'm not sure how far I'm gonna push it. So many people that do this, they come and go. 
come from all backgrounds and lifestyles out in the middle of nowhere, and then the show's over. Everybody's gone. Some people have grown older and have families. Some people burnt out right away. Some have even died. For me, sometimes the drive for the hunt and to experience the wonder of it all is similar to an alcoholic craving a drink. Just one more. Just one more. I've been doing this since the days of folded maps and AM radios, before radar apps, before social media, and I don't know. Honestly, I might be done after this year. I really hope there's one or two more good days left in me to cautiously walk amongst the giants. <laughs>